Rahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And very good morning to all my beloved student Cikgu harap uh, semua anak murid cikgu sehat dan kekal jaga kesihatan di rumah So today we are going to go into the next topic for our mathematics DLP uh, Ini kita nak masuk kepada topik yang baru which is uh, unit 3 Uh, money Topik yang ketiga iaitu wang So today we are going to cover about addition and also subtraction of money Hari ini kita nak tengok tentang penambahan dan penolakan wang Actually this is quite more into uh, revision Because you already learned money since you are in year 1 When you were in year 1 Sebenarnya hari ini lebih kepada ulang gaji Sebab awak dah belajar pun Topik man, topik wang ni daripada darjah satu lagi The only things uh, the, the value of money is getting bigger That's all Cumanya nilai wang tu saja yang semakin uh, Besar eh? Tapi asasnya masih sama So now we go to the You can We, we go to the first example We go to the first example Yeah, you can turn your textbook Turn to page uh, 92 You see the on top of the page 92 The first example Alright, question number 3 Kita pergi dekat muka surat 92 Buku teks awak Tengok so, uh, contoh yang paling atas sekali Soalan nombor 3 tu Okay 43,000 Right, for three three thousand twenty six ringgit seventy cent plus one hundred fifty thousand one hundred thirty ringgit and forty five cent plus three hundred. 87,060 ringgit and 20 sen so now we going to do the standard return method kita guna keadaan untuk lazim yang biasa kita buat jadi kita cuma tambahkan saja ok remember we start with the value of sen kita mula dengan nilai sen kita tambah dengan nilai sen terlebih dahulu Alright, one thing I want to remind you, remember you make sure all the decimal points in one line. Okay, awak pastikan bila awak tambah, bila ada titik perpuluhan dalam wang ni, pastikan kedudukan dia adalah selari. Eh? Okay. So, we start with sin. So, 0 plus 5 plus 0, we got 5. 7 plus 4 plus 2, we got 11. So, 1 here. So, the another one, we put here. Okay, we ignore first the decimal. Kita abaikan dulu titik perpuluhan ni. Alright, so 1 plus 6, we got 7. Oh, sorry. Okay, 7 plus 4, we got 11. 11 plus 2, we got 13. So, here should be 13. So, this is 3. Eh? So, this is 3. This is 1. Alright. So, 1 plus 6, we got 7. Then, 2 plus 3, we got 5. 5 plus 6, we got 11. So, 1 plus 1, we got 2. 3 plus 7, We got 10, so 0 here, 1 we put up here, 1 plus 5, we got 5, 5 plus 5, become 10, 10 plus 8, we got 18, so we put 1 on top here, so 1 plus 1, we got 2, 2 plus 3, we got 5, okay, so we got 580,217 ringgit. And 35 sen. So, the last part, we put down here the decimal point. So, kat bahagian terakhir ni, baru kita letakkan 
titik perpuluhan Okay Okay, very simple Okay, we go to the question number 4 Alright, this question is about involve, uh, Sorry, this question involving the unknown Kalau awak tengok contoh soalan nombor 4 tu Dia melibatkan anu eh Nilai yang kita tak tahu tapi kita boleh cari 246,750 ringgit plus unknown Okay, equal to 610,000 525 ringgit Alright Okay you see there A simple example Alright This number is Large Alright This number is big Nilai nombor ni besar Mungkin awak tak tahu Awak nak, awak nak guna Macam mana kita nak mencari nilai Anu Nilai kita tak tahu ni Tapi Kita boleh tukarkan kepada Nombor yang lebih kecil Nombor yang lebih kecil Alright we can replace this number with the sim with a smaller value okey untuk kita dapatkan apa operasi yang sesuai untuk kita selesaikan soalan yang melibatkan anu ni alright so you see there 4 plus 7 equal to 11 so how do you, how so how do you get 7 so you so you know 11 minus 4 you will get 7 Jadi awak boleh aplikasikan cara yang sama untuk selesaikan soalan nombor 4 ni. So So 600 10525 Ringgit So you minus 246,750 Ringgit So you minus Ok jadi kita tolakkan So 5 plus uh, Sorry 5 minus 0 you will, we, get, we get 5 Then 2 minus 5 <coughs> So we take one from here. This one become four. This one become twelve. Twelve minus five, we got seven. So four plus seven, we cannot subtract. So we have to take one from here. So this one become zero. This zero become ten. So ten will become nine because we'll take this one from here into four become fourteen. So, 14 minus 7, we got 7. So, 9 minus 6, we got 3. Alright. Still, we have to take 1 from here, from 6. So, 6 become 5. This one become 10. 10 minus 4, we got 6. 5 minus 2, we got 3. So, the answer is 3. 163,775 ringgit. Alright. So, this is all about addition. And also involving unknown. Okay, jadi soalan ni adalah soalan penambahan. Tapi melibatkan anu. Jadi, tidak semestinya kita menggunakan operasi tambah. Okay. Eh?